This building was built with parallel gray and black water waste systems, though either could be used alone to support the building. The black water system drains to a building sewer that leads to a clean out area and a sewer main. The sewer main takes the waste to a treatment plant and eventually out to a river or ocean. The gray water system drains to a holding tank. This holding tank allows the water to cool and separate solids and oils from the discharge before it flows out into the underground drain field. This drain field and the tanks are similar to a standard septic system. The basement sinks and toilet drain to a black water system through a sewage ejector. The sewer ejector both grinds and pumps the waste up into the building sewer. Note that because the system is pressurized, the sewer ejector drain does not need to be vented. There's also a three-way valve that redirects the gray water to the building sewer. A valve like this might be necessary depending on local codes. In most jurisdictions, gray water systems are strictly regulated. At the shower room on the first floor mezzanine, waste from the sink and shower drains go to the gray water riser. The effluent from the toilet go to the black water riser. Both the gray water and the black water system share the same vent riser. The second floor toilets show inline drains from the water closets to the black water riser. This includes the waterous urinal and toilet in the men's room. Gray water from the sinks and the drinking fountains that are not shown are again captured and drained to the gray water riser. The installations share a common overhead vent. The waste lines at the third floor toilets are installed in the same way. The dual flush toilet handle allow a user to vote to reduce water consumption. Pull up to flush liquids, push down to flush solids. The flush handle also has a silvered plating that acts as an antimicrobial coating.